What's up, Wargamers? Welcome back to World of Wargaming. I'm Isaiah. Today, Mike's in the house. We're going to be playing a 1,000-point game of Warlords of Erewhon. It's been a little while since we played this one. There was some book fumbling off camera, but we got through it and we had a great time. I'm going to be playing 1,000 points of my Dwarves against his 1,000 points of Elves. But before we get to the dice rolling and the fantasy goodness, if you haven't considered hitting that like, subscribe, or bell notification, please consider doing it for me as it really does help me out help me grow help me get more stuff out to more people it might elven might even might elven is that foreshadowing it might even help me get a win today and let's get into this game of warlords of erewhon what's up friends this is gonna be our table for a game of warlords of erewhon which we haven't played in a while so hopefully we can keep our mistakes to a minimum but fun game and just haven't had the chance to play it in a while so i'm gonna be playing my dwarves Mike's going to be playing his elves. We're going to be playing a modified version of the Watchtower scenario. So we're taking out the attacker defender, and we're just kind of fighting over this big hunk of portal in the middle so that we can pull more forces into the region to bolster our efforts to conquer everything. Uh, Terrain-wise on the table, we got some thick forests. We got some scrubs or low scrubs. We got some ramparts for the heavy wall, so plus two res there. The clusters of trees are just line of sight blocking terrain just impassable terrain um same with the rocks they'll give you cover if you're poking out from behind it but you can't shoot through it and that's going to be pretty much it for the table scenario scenario lasts six turns we may see if it goes out. I have, we both have seven order dice a thousand points so not a whole lot of models on the table so we'll go down to the table and we'll take a look at the lists all right so on the dwarf side i have a wizard with wizard level two he knows lightning bolt and surge i've got my leader who's in heavy armor with a skull crusher hammer which is basically mjolnir i can chuck it and it'll come back to me i got a unit of warriors with the big old axes i got an organ gun with a crew of four i got a 10-man unit of hand gunners and i've got a flying machine with the mechanical genius upgrade so it Gets plus or minus one to monster damage rolls, and it has something else. And it gets plus one accuracy to its uh, to its bombing runs, which is a good thing. It's got two order dice on the flyer. So that's the dwarf. That's a thousand points of dwarves. We'll go around the table and see what a thousand points of elves looks like. All right, so over here on the elf side, we got a standard group of elven warriors with swords and uh, light armor. Then we got our rangers over here with uh, spangly armor, so it's a lot like heavy armor without any of the negatives. And of course they got the longbow and the woodsman talent allowing them to go through a uh, woodland area like it's open terrain. We got our, our warlord, elven warlord here, and she's got a big battle smiter sword which adds plus two to her strength, and she's got a couple of bodyguards. We got our wizard over here, he's a level three, he's got the peculiar portal and lightning bolt. We have the elven guard with long spears and longbows. Our elven hero over here is carrying the uh, the bow of burning gold, which adds uh, a strike value two with plus one to the accuracy, making him pretty darn tough. And then on the far left, we got a uh, group of just standard uh, elven archers with longbows. All right, for a thousand points of elves, we're gonna get into the order bag and we're gonna get into turn one. Hero just takes a regular movement up the field to grab some cover behind that wall. Next dice is also Mike, so he's going to move these rangers up into the wood line over here. A group of regular archers performs a run move to just get themselves around that cluster of trees and up to the wall. That group of warriors is just going to move up. We're not in a big hurry, we just kind of want to stay tucked back a little. So my wizard, moving up to here gonna try to put a lightning bolt on that group of rangers looking for a seven or less that is a six okay we're gonna try to counter that spell obviously and that's from anywhere on the board in this yeah. game so i need to roll five or less eight. eight i do not so i take a pin okay so he'll take a pin my spell will go off i will choose the leader of the group obviously we get a d3 plus my wizard level for the strike value so that's a two plus my wizard value of four so it's strike value four against the leader of that group of rangers right there strike value four against res eight looking for a four or less to save this we 
Yes. That is a four. They still take a pin. They still have to take a break test. So we got one pin. Six and we pass our command test. Okay. So command Running the sword and board elves up behind ye old big rock. My handgunners here are going to run up this way. Me again, we're gonna run leader boy over this way. He's metal. <laughs> All right, me again, we're gonna move the organ gun up the field. It'll be a run order for him, but he's slow three, so he just kind of, oh, dropped the dwarf. I'm running 20 to right there. All right. Wizard taking a command test to activate. Uh, he has a command now, yeah. That's, so fail. That is a fail. So he goes down? He goes down, but we pick up the pin. Correct. All righty. Warlord running up behind the rocks for some cover and shelter before all the stuff starts flying. Right. So this unit of guard, gonna move into that thick forest, so they're gonna have to take an agility test because they don't have the woodwalker rule or whatever it's called, like the rangers do. Five, and it's... What's their agility? It's six. So they're good? Is it two or one? I think it's two. I think they failed because we did dense woods. Oh, because there's a modifier. And too. they make it into the trees. Meanwhile, Michael destroys the board. <laughs> Nah, that's okay. Those, those trees are there to be moved around. That's why they're not glued Chopper. in place. Cutting back across, hopping over this bunch of vegetation right here to tuck back and hide and wait for a better opportunity to strike. That's going to be the end of turn one. This is... If I pick up this down order. Yes, you do. Yeah, no pins. Command a nine. So as long as they don't roll a zero. Roll three. Okay. So he can get up. First of turn two is Michael. He's going to advance his wizard. And then we're going to cast Lightning Bolt on the chopper. Okay. Seven. That is correct. Seven. seven. I will try to dispel it. Yeah. Which I do. Okay. Dramatically so. So I'm going to activate the wizard. He's going to stay put, and we're going to try to Lightning Bolt those rangers again. I do not Lightning Bolt those rangers. So hero, gonna take a shot at the organ gun. Looking for a seven after all of his modifiers. Four, Four hits, strike value two. Strike value two. So looking for a seven. Seven. We'll roll it again. Sure, seven. So there we go. It's always gonna be a little bit longer because this mat still has. Well, you also got into the scrub too. It's it did there, but it's still. Anywhere, like, it's going to lean a little bit because there's still ridges in the mat because it was folded, not rolled when I bought it. Next dice out of the bag is to me. And we're going to zoom, zoom in the boom, boom to right there. And light these fellows up. He's going to go down with those archers, which is fine for me, which puts me to... It's the same thing. You just have to reroll any hits. Okay. So looking for sixes. That's three hits, because that one's, it's on the things, but it's dead flat. Oh wait, you can't make me reroll ones. Lucky's can't be, you can't be forced to reroll a one or a 10. Lucky's always stand. Three, however, I do still have to reroll. Still hits, so that's three hits at strike value four. Um, leader or not? Yeah, one on the leader. Okay. One on random okay. duder. Duder. All right. Uh, give me that red die. There you go. All right. So strike value four. Three, four. And they have. So I need. Uh, I need ones to survive. Okay. That's what I like to hear. Leader survives. Leader survives. Right. So Other two do not. Yes. Yeah, so it was two guys. Pop, pop, and just one pin. 
two pins um, on the Rangers, one for getting hit, or the Archers, one for getting hit, and one for the fire special rule. Plus, they're down, which is great because I don't have to worry about them trying to shoot back at me. All right. Coming around. So they move five. Sprint will be 15. Yeah. And agility six or seven. Probably they're elves, so they're probably pretty nimbly. Agility test to see if they... Yeah, we're running on up here. So we get it. We just see if we take a pin yeah. while doing it. Correct. And we got agility six. We're golden. We're good. Order dice is to Michael. He's debating what he wants to do. I'm just going to give you guys a quick shot of the table. I'm kind of weighing heavy to this right flank. Mike is more circling towards the left. But my plan is to ultimately just kind of pinch her down on him. We'll see what happens. Leader goes on ambush. Uh, next dice is for me. We're going to run. We're going to run these hand gunners up, get them repositioned a little bit, running up to there. Next dice is also for me. So we're going to. run these guys and they're just going to run up this way keep behind the portal for some cover and just come out this way they're laden so they can run but they can't sprint next dice is to me, and I'm going to make a zoom zoom with the boom boom to right there, and I'm going to drop some bombs on that fella right there. Um, how far is your leader move? Three shots, looking for sixes. Two hits, strike value four. All right. No luckies, right? No luckies, just two hits. I'll take those on the demons then. So, we need ones. Nope. All right, and then two pins. Yep, command test. We're good. Oh, are you? So yeah, okay. So that group, we're gonna try to move out of the woods. They pass their agility test so they can move out freely. So really Moving out the back side of the trees because I presented a threat on the flank. So down to five on the accuracy and he has to re-roll successes. Do we have anything special because of the flying machine? Re-roll the successes. Re -roll. Okay. So looking for fives. So three. Yep, and then re-roll. So two hits. Two hits. Okay. We're good. But take a pin. But take a pin. Rangers activating. Pass their command test. And we're gonna advance. It happens. Looking for sixes to shoot my dwarfs. Uh, four? Four hits. Okay, pretty good. We're good on nines here. Go. We're good. Just okay. a pin. So we'll try to activate the organ gun. He's in command range. Yeah, he's in command range. Good. He's good. We'll shake that off. And then we're gonna shoot at the hero. D6 shots. Well, first you determine what you get. It would be D6 hits. All right, so we got a D6, we got two hits, two and shots. then two shots, and we're accuracy something. Looking for threes. Two hits. Two hits. 
strike, strike, strike value, value three. So it'd be one minus whatever your thing is, minus one from your res, okay. I would think, because plus two for the wall and then minus three would take you to minus one. Okay. All right, so we're at minus one, so we need sevens. And we are tough, uh, we're tough too, so we can reroll both of these. Yeah. Okay. So look for sevens. Can't, Can't reroll that one though. So we take one. Take a damage and a pin. Leader is going to push up into the spot they left, and that's going to do it for turn two. So this is what our field of battle currently looks like. Michael's got some down tests. Hey, I got one. Do you have any? I do not have anybody down, no, sir. All right, so, so testing for that group of archers right there. Yeah. We are within range from use of commands. So we got uh, command nine minus two, so we need a seven. Correct. We're good. So Five, you're good. Lose a pen and pick up a die. Cool. Dude. First dice of turn three is to myself. We're going to try to activate the copter. I'm not sure what his command Looking is. Looking for a seven. Six is a pass. All right, Mike's going to stand tall. He's not going down. So I'm looking for sixes. One hit? One hit. Strike value three. All right. Outstanding. This is great. We're going to reroll. So strike value three, so we need a, a, a two. What do you get a reroll from? Because we're tough. Oh, okay. So, uh, all right. Uh, you said strike value three? Strike value three. I thought it was four. Mm. Oh, it is strike value four. Sorry, I got it mixed up with the organ gun. I was going to say, wait a minute. My, my, nope, you're my, right. You're right. You're right. It's four. So we need a one. Reroll. Don't get it, so we take a wound. Okay. Next dice was also me. We're going to shoot at the wizard again. No hits. No hits. Woo no hits. The organ gun next. We're gonna shoot at the hero. Um, number of shots. Two shots again. Looking for threes. No hits. Next dice is still me, so we're gonna take an order test right there. They're not good. All right, so we're gonna activate the wizard. Who's gonna run to here? And then we're gonna try to surge. Which one is surge again? Let's me put an order dice back in the bag. The wizard is able to stay put, and we're gonna try for surge right there. Looking for a seven or less. That is a miscast. What it does, one. One. The caster has turned into a large toad. Sweet. Attempting to activate Los Hero. Seven more good because we have a command of nine. And so we lose a pen. We do have a perma pen, but. Well, then you would be. Seven. Right. right. Taking a shot at the organ gun. So we're uh, got a fire order, which has plus one, plus one because of the weapon. And then minus one for long range. So you're just plus one. Plus one. And so we got uh, seven. Okay. We have Hits. Oh, uh, got a straight roll here, looking for a seven. That is a 10, so we'll take a damage. All right, so we're not exactly sure what happens with the artillery. I can't find it. I feel like I've read it at some point before, so if you know, help us out in the comments. But what we're gonna say here for this artillery piece is that damage went through, I just lose a crew member. That's what we're gonna go with. I'm gonna run the Lord and his retinue to right there. Skadoosh. Run. Okay. We're going to attempt to do a fire order with these guys. Okay. So, order test, or command test. That's a fail. That is a fail. Uh, so, we go down, but we remove it. All right. Going to fire from the that unit to the copter. Okay, so we're accuracy six, uh, plus one, one for the fire order. Plus one for the so Minus one because of range. But plus another one because it's large. So sevens. So sevens. There you go. Alright. Looking for sevens. Alright. Alright, and then re-roll everything but the lucky. So three hits. Three hits. At strike value one. One goes through. 
Um, so we can see what happens. Roll us a d10. Last group One. is just going to go on ambush. Wizard, gonna go for a rally. We're good. Can I borrow that? Because rally six? ignores your pins, right? Yes. Okay. And we removed D6 plus one pins. So we removed three pins. Okay. Two. Firing on handgunners. Plus one, minus one. Can I move this dice? Mm-hmm. So, uh, straight dice because plus one, minus one. Okay. Looking for our sevens. Alrighty. Three. He's, hold on, we gotta re-roll because you're down. Oh. So we gotta re-roll. We failed two, one lucky. Mm -hmm. so. Three. Right, so three hits. One of them's going on a non-meter, obviously. Yep. Mm. So we killed two. Kill two, he's good. So, correction, I don't lose any because I'm res eight. With the wall there in front of me, I got a res 10, down one for the strike value of one. So I don't lose anybody, but I do still take a pin. I'm gonna hold, I have a test to make here for them. Eight. Two pins? With one pin. Um, that's a fail, I think. So this unit over here that is down. Just don't roll a zero. Okay, we're good. Nine, we're good. Because of the command. Right, right, right. Start of turn four. This is what we're looking like on the field of the battle. And we'll go to the first dice. First dice goes to Michael, mm -hmm. activating the wizard we who has nine, a pin. So two for as far as morale goes. Right. Eight. That is a fail. So we lose our pin and go down. Awesome. So leader is going to do a follow, which is going to hit these four or three units around him. They're all going to be getting fire orders. So who are we starting with? We'll start off with the hero at the organ gun. Okay. So we got a hit. Okay. Strike value two, so a straight roll, you have a seven. Yeah. Fails, so we'll lose a guy. Rangers into the handgunners. The sevens and gotta do rerolls. Uh, okay, so we got two luckies, two fails. Gotta reroll this one. Mm -hmm. And so Hits. Go on it. So the, the two luckies gonna go on non leader, so I guess you can take the last one on the leader if you want to. Okay. Nines. We're good. Okay. Just a pin. Yeah, Sevens good. on the guards. So, one fail. Gotta yep. reroll all these because of the flying roll. Correct. Stupid flying dwarves. Uh, so four. We got four hits. Okay. Nines. One fail. Alright. Roll the monstrosity chart. Come on, roll high. Ten. Ten. That's um. Good. Copter's gone, rolled a 10 on the thing, so it's destroyed. We'll try to rally him. He's good, so he'll turn back into a dude. Looking for sixes on the organ gun with the archers. Two hits. Two hits. Looking for... Looking for eights to save that. We do, just a pin. All right, trying to activate here, I need a seven. Nope, does not activate. It does remove a pin. When it does remove we'll a pin. go on ambush. Will go on ambush. Okay, so my last unit. We're just gonna hop over the wall. I'm not doing anything else besides this. Okay. After Mike moves to here, I spring my ambushes to move towards them. Uh, down order for them, see if we can pick that up. Seven. Seven. One just one pin. With one pin, yeah. Good. That'll be good. Got here we're good okay turn five these guys are coming in i don't think they have anything for the exchange events all right so these guys swinging in with their five swings on sevens sevens and we got all hits okay so, that's yep. fine. so one on the leader we're looking for sevens we're gonna fail two of them ultimately but I'll get to swing back first yes. before all that's looking for sixes. Fail, fail, fail. So that's six at strike value three. Okay. One of them has to go on a regular guy. Well, they're all going to go on a regular guy. I only got five guys. So um, uh, I'll take two on the leader. 
Okay. And uh, it'll be the black and the red die. Everything else is going to be on the regular. What was the strike value again? Three. Three. So we got uh, a res of six, so we need threes. Okay. All right. Looking for three. Okay, that one's saved. We lost the other four guys. Leader gets a reroll on his other one. Mm hmm. And he's still dead. So we let the whole unit was wiped. Okay. Consolidation move takes me to right there. That's me, and I'm gonna try to charge. So let's see, I'm within range of my guy, so I'm in a nine, so I need a seven. We're good. Do I get a thing for rolling a one there? Charging in there, we got an exchange of missiles at minus one. Sixes. Uh, so we got uh, four hits. Okay. Strike value one. Looking for sevens reroll that one lose two, lose two. The only guys remain looking for sevens that's four at minus strike value three we'll put this on a regular guy okay well i'll just swing around and turn one on the leader anyways strike strike value three you strike say? value three all right so i got a uh, res of eight so i need five Pretty good. Pretty good. Looking for sixes on the strike back. And we got four hits. Pretty strike good. One. We're good. All right. Um, I won that round. Two pins for the break test. Looking for a seven. That is an eight. So we will fail. Next dice out of the bag is Michael's. He's going to go for a peculiar portal on him. Do you need to be able to see him? Well, uh, do I? If you do, you're going to need to move up just a little bit, I think. Uh, and, you know, I'm well, I'm actually, you know what? First, I'm minus two. It's a casting value of eight. Minus two, so I need six or less. Right. Look over six. That is a miscast. Let's see what happens. Six. six. Got a whirlwind of pins potentially coming around. So we start with the wizard. Start with the wizard. Uh, we rolled a two. On a two or three, there's no effect. Then it goes to the next unit. Then it goes to the next unit, uh, the hero. Okay. Four. Uh, four, five, or six, the unit suffers a pin. Okay. So the only way this stops before you get to all the units is if somebody rolls a one. So yeah. we're going to go ahead and move through this, and we'll show you what everybody ends up with. So archers take a pin, hero takes a pin. The guard on the backside do not take a pin, and we roll a one on the rangers, which stops the effect. And we'll go to the next dice in the back. It comes to me. We're going to try to activate these fellows, these fine fellows over here. They have a singular pin. Eight. Me oh, again. We'll try to activate this fellow. He's good. That goes away. And we'll try to shoot at the wizard who doesn't have any cover. For uh, Five shots. Five shots. Five shots. About time we got a decent one out of that of it. Oh, there's been two. Give me a dice. Thank you. Looking for range threes, right? Threes. Nothing. Trying to activate the rangers. They do. So shake a pin. Okay. And shake. Yeah, two pins. No, just one. I'm gonna move up a little bit and shoot here. Alright, we got two. two. Strike value one. Okay. So sevens. We're we'll say that was on the sergeant. We're okay. Okay. And that's all we want Sprinting to do. the guardsman. Sprint check. Seven, we take a pen. Okay. Archer is going to try to activate. We activate. They do. We're going to shoot at the organ gun. Okay. It's a uh, plus one, minus one, right? Mm -hmm. So sixes. Three. Three hits. And four sevens. Loses one. Hero shoots. We'll try to activate. We fail. We go down and we don't get to pick up the pen. Awesome. Go here with a rally, which I pass, so then I can pull 
D6 off of those guys. One. And we'll take a test with them. Nope, that's not the right one. No. So we'll try the same thing with the wizard. He passes the rally. He's got mine. Ten inches from him. Oh, okay. And then we'll go two. Down to one. And then we'll do a thing. They're good. All right. So I'm not Boss passes his test on a one, and we'll do some stuff. We're going to do some sprinting. Okay. Run up in here. Okie dokie. Three, you're good. So down order on them. They're cool. good. Down order on the hero. We're good. Okay. Coming into the final turn. This is what it looks like. All right. To me. Not quite. Uh, so we'll try to activate here. We're not good. We'll sprint the wizard around here and take a test, which he fails. And we'll try to lightning bolt the rangers. We do, with a three. Oh, that's a three? That is a three. Okay. Uh, let's see, do I want to try to just go on three? Yeah, screw it. We'll see if we can beat a three. Okay. We do not, so we take a pick. Okay, so D3 on the strike value. So two, that'll be a strike value of four against the leader. Okay. Strike value of four, so we start at eight, so we go down to a four. That is about the definition Mega of five. Mega cocked, right? yeah. Five will fail. Well, reroll for tough. Okay. Ten will also fail. Ten and then a test. Two, we're good. Rangers activate, shake their pins. Gonna take shots at the dudes right here. So seven, we go up to eight, but have to re-roll because they're down. Mm-hmm. Oh, had a straight miss right there. So, so two. two hits, strike value one. So seven. Sevens. We're good. All right, just a ten. We'll activate here. I probably get four shots on that unit. Okay, so I gotta shoot the target. Yeah. There's just also. Looking for fives. One hit. Strike value three. Yeah, it was a lucky. Do you want to put on leader or non leader? Non leader, I guess. Okay. So, regular guy, we got um, armor. We're at eight, so we need a five. Okay, so we lose a guy. And take a pin. Guard unit. Okay. Gonna try to run. Need a seven. Two. We're good. Charging in here. I don't have an exchange of missiles. Right. I do. Okay. So Minus one on that, right? Yes. So we need fives. Uh, okay, so we got two hits. Two hits. Two kills. And a pin. And then it's going to be, since you're down, yep. it's going to be you go, I go. Correct. Okay. Um, Strength plus one, looking for sixes. Nothing. Nothing. A complete no. and total whiff. Okay, my down guys will swing back. I have four. Oh, I one, missed him. One, one two, three, four. Um, I will hit all four times okay. at strike value three. So we need fives. Uh, lost uh, eight. That's a three. So we lost one guy. Okay. So that's going to bring, after that, comes to, that's going to come to a draw because we're both going to have guys on the thing. We're not going to be able to totally clear each other off. So that'll be a hearty handshake for my friend Mike. A good game. Thanks so much for stopping by, hanging out while we play the game of Warlords of Erewhon. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And as always, I'd like to say a big, huge, from the bottom of my heart, thank you to our patrons who support us and pledge to us over on Patreon. You guys are the absolute best. If you enjoyed the content you saw here today and that's something that you would like to consider doing to help out the channel go over there check out the link in the description check out the patreon there's a lot of cool stuff over there including access to our discord server talk to me hang out with me talk about our work what we got going on in the hobby um 
some shout outs, all kinds of cool stuff. Check it out if that's something that you think you would be into. And regardless of whether or not you do that, I want you to know that I am incredibly grateful that you decided to stop by and spend part of your day with me today, rolling dice and pushing toy soldiers around. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And as always, may the dice be ever in your favor.